Puppetry is one of the oldest forms of performance in the world. It's wide-ranging and complex and has a great heritage. Describing the art of puppetry is actually quite hard. It is very, very many different things. The basic idea of puppetry is that it, it is an inanimate object made animate through direct human control for an audience. As soon as you pick up something and, and move it around and try to communicate with it, you're dealing with the world of puppets. Our program was founded by Frank Ballard in 1965. He had been hired here in the 50s to be the technical director and a designer for the new Jorgensen Theater. In the established theater circles, puppetry is not considered a serious art form. So for Frank to say, you know, in a college we should look at puppetry, that was really unusual. Hello there, dear. It's just about time. In terms of what Frank established here, we are quite unique. Most other programs around the world offer certificates of accomplishment or diplomas, not academic degrees. With Frank Ballard's vision, puppeteers could learn the history of puppetry, learn different puppet techniques, and really pursue puppetry as a vocation, as an art form. Our program is one of fundamentals. It's one of creating a toolkit. The Yukon puppet programs are, are now well known because of Frank Ballard's work and now the work of Bart Rocco Burton, the current head of the puppet arts program. We have a lot of fun, but we work really, really hard. The students are touching all aspects of puppetry from writing a script, designing puppets, building puppets, and performing them. Yukon graduates are recognized in, in the theater world and in the puppetry world as people who are really well trained. We've had several students on Broadway and Avenue Q for the full run of the show. We have a number of them out in Hollywood working on the films. Our alumni built Lion King, built Little Shop of Horrors for, for Broadway. People who go through our program use their imagination and create things that never existed before.